I wanted to do something a little bit different in this video. I thought we could work through a Python problem together um, and you might get something out of it because it will sort of show you my thinking as I go through a problem and I will get something out of it because it's really useful to explain your thinking as you go along. It sort of brings clarity to what you're doing. And so we'll both benefit. Have you heard of the Hamming distance? It's something that was named after the mathematician Richard Hamming, who I don't know much about, but he was a very influential figure in computer engineering, a mathematician, and definitely worth reading up on if you're interested in that kind of thing. The Hamming distance is, um, well, let me explain it this way. If you have two strings that are the same length and they're identical, the Hamming distance between those strings is zero. If you have two strings that are the same length and differ by one character, the Hamming distance is one. If they differ by two characters, the Hamming distance is two, and by three characters, three, and so on. And what I want to do is I want you to write a function in Python that will take two strings of the same length and will calculate their Hamming distance. So let's go and work through some of the intuition and then we'll write the code. Now, before we do, I just wanna show you, I've got one of these tablets to draw on, but um, when I tried it earlier, it was broken. So I'm gonna to have to do this with a mouse, which means the writing will be like I'm five years old, but try to see past that and um, we, well, it's just awful. I can't do it with the mouse. So you'll see what I mean when the writing appears on the screen. Oh, and you might notice a difference in the sound quality too, because at the start of the video, I forgot to switch this mic on, which I'm now recording through. Uh, and so before I was recording on the mic on the camera, the boom mic on the camera, which isn't as good quality as this. Sorry about that. I'll try to get it right next time. So, Okay, let's have a look at what we want to do. So we're gonna have these two strings. So let's call them, here we go, S1, which is going to equal, God, this is difficult. Okay, which is going to equal something like A, B, C, I can write, I promise. And then we're gonna have another string, let's call it string two. I'm gonna get a new pad. Uh, but until I do, we'll have to do it like this. And we'll have this as something like B, B, C. So the Hamming distance between these two is obviously one because we have the B and the C that are the same between them, but the A and B are different. So what we want now is a function. Let's uh, just put a new layer on there. Let's call that, um, we'll just create this function here, D, uh, E, why is it so difficult? F, and we'll call it ham. So H, A, M. And it's going to take two strings. So S1 and S2. And what do we want it to do? So what we want it to do is we want it to go through each string at the same time and compare the each character in each string. So we want to compare character zero with character zero, character one with character one. And if they are equal, we want to return zero. And if they are different, then we want to increase the difference by one. So let's have a look. So we want to do something like this. So we'll have a function def, let's call it hamming distance and it's going to take two strings it's going to take s1 and s2 and what we want to do is set a counter so that we can keep track of what's going on so let's say count equals zero and then we want to go through each string one by one and compare those characters so let's say for i in uh, range length of string and then we just want to compare each each character as we go through that string so we're going to say if s1 i so if the ith item of s1 does not equal the ith item of s2 then we're going to add one to count.
and then we'll come out of that and then we'll just return count and that should give us the hamming distance so let's try something now if we go down here and we say hamming distance of a b c d e f comma a b c d e f and we run that whoops we're going to need to print that so let's just print that okay okay let's run that now and that's zero so the hamming distance there is zero because they're identical but if we now change that to bb at the start there and we run that the difference is one and if we change it now to bbb and we run that the distance is two so that's the solution now we can make this solution better because first of all we need to check that the strings are the same length so you can do that and it's also possible to write a solution to this in one line. So why don't you have a go at that? If you'd like more videos like this, you know, where we work through Python problems, then just let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.